What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new headliner player SBC card that EA just released and it is going to be Klaus to review. It's a card that definitely looks nice all rounded, a card that is not just going to be good defensively, a card that is also going to be good at going forward. He's got 93 pace, 86 dribbling, 74 shooting, 80 defending, 82 physicals with the 81 passing as well. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I wasn't like a crazy big fan of his inform. I felt like his defensive awareness on his inform just simply wasn't good enough and I also felt like his strength wasn't anything special but the thing is with this headliner card is they actually went ahead and gave him a really nice upgrade we are talking about a plus three to pace a plus three to dribbling a plus one to shooting a plus four to the defending a plus three to the physicals and a plus four to the passing as well so yeah they have done this card really nicely his defensive awareness with the anger chem style is still quite low but it's obviously not comparable let's say to what he was before on the inform so yeah the anger chem style does boost up to 81 which is nice to see it also does give him 96 standing tackling with 94 slide tackling and 86 interception so he definitely does have some very very solid defensive stats now obviously the anger chem style doesn't just boost defending it also does boost pace and physical so his pace is now 99 acceleration 97 sprint speed so we are talking about a fullback here that is most likely not gonna get outpaced and his physicals 85 jumping for a player that is five foot ten, is very nice in that fullback position because you may you might see him win those 50-50 aerial battles time to time. He has got 99 stamina, which is simply insane, and he has got 85 strength with the 83 aggression as well. So we're not we're not talking about a a card here that hasn't got no strength to his game. We're not talking about like a Quadrado or even a Navas. Let's say we're talking about a Klaus card that's got that strength, that's got that aggression as well, and he will try to get into those contact to contact situations. Now his dribbling ability. Okay, all right, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, when you're looking at a card having 95 agility, you're extremely impressed, right? But then you look at the other stats, you see 80 balance, 85 reactions, 86 ball troll, 86 dribbling, and the 80 composure, and you're like, okay, it looks very nice, especially for a fullback. Now, his passing ability, it isn't looking like anything special, you know? It doesn't look like he's going to be one of those cards that you pick up the ball with and you smack it all the way to the other side and it lands perfectly onto the player. He looks like one of those cards that you might have to just keep it quite simple with and you may be able to go to the, like do the over top through balls down his line time to time. I reckon he will be one of those players though that will try to do it but sometimes it will go out the pitch. And his shooting ability as well, it's not even bad. I doubt he'll will get him into like a shooting opportunity but if he is in there somehow, some way, we might as well give it a go. Now there's links for this guy. French, Ligon, come on, that's that's all I have to say, right? Yes, the club is obviously not the greatest. He does get a strong link with your boy Fofana, but the thing is, the club is an all-round amazing for links. It's literally just Fofana, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, other than that, you got the French link, you got the Ligon link, you got Mbappe, you got Kempembe, which you get two strong links with. So the links are literally amazing. Now, when it comes down to positions, I am going to be trying Klaus in two positions. I'm going to be trying this guy in a fullback position, so the right back position. But I'm also going to be trying him in that CDM position because I do want to test out like transition speed. I do want to test out like tackling. And in some occasions, let's say, if my opponent doesn't obviously go down the lines, then Klaus will just be sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So that's when I'll move him into that CDM position. So we have obviously can get involved but yeah let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be i might just pass him the ball here just to see how he feels on the ball let's go for a ball roll there use his pace to accelerate there that acceleration is nice how's those touches very good keeps it nice and close to his feet as well that 180 turn obviously wasn't the greatest and i tried to use his pace to get around the corner there there was just only one touch that didn't seem great there but other than that everything was solid one thing i am definitely noticing already is the fact that he is overlapping now he has got that high attacking work rate so that is something i definitely was expecting but i didn't actually think he was going to be this aggressive like look at him he's still up here he's still trying to make runs he's not going back into his position and he finally does it as soon as i move into that winger position Wait, we've got a penalty? I don't understand how we just got a pen. I'm going to be honest. I literally have no idea. But Klaus is going to step up to the plate. He's got 47 penalties. 47. We're still going to go for it, though. We're still going to aim it towards the top bins. This has to be, like, green timed or yellow timed. It went nowhere near the top corner. Nowhere near. But it found the back of the net. One thing I definitely do like to test out with fullbacks is to see how good their passing ability actually is. So we're definitely going to give it a go. Just to see how good it's actually going to be. And I'll tell you what, that is not a bad pass. That is not a bad pass at all. It went straight onto Stroikov. And yes, it didn't go behind the player, but it landed perfectly onto him. 
Kind of want to just step into that middle just to see if I could grab that ball. We end up missing it. Can I transition over though? Yes, I can, man. And he does put in a very solid tackle. It obviously wasn't possession based, but he still got it. Go on, Klaus. Go forward a little bit. Go for that ball roll. Instant turn. I like how he's got that lean body type. Like you can clearly see, man. He's not a player that feels bad on the... What? I even read time that. What finish? He's got it's like 75, 70 something finishing. How does that go in? Red timed? Yeah, that should never, ever go in. And that was on the weak foot as well. You go on, Klaus. Go for that ball roll there. Nice. I'm going to do this on his stronger foot this time. I want to see if this pass is actually going to work. It's a perfect pass. He hasn't got the greatest of long passing or vision. But I tell you what, that pass is literally, literally perfect. And this guy's defensive line got back into position insanely quick. I want to see if Klaus actually tracks that. He is tracking it. That's really well played from him. And I've done a mistake there. See if his pace is good enough. I thought he was going to go for the cutback. I'm still going to believe in him. And he did put Mertens under pressure, making him completely miss that shot. Just take that touch. There you go. Nice little touch. You know what? We're going to send him on a run. Let's see how fast he is to get in behind. Look at that pace, man. Look at that pace. And I tried to play the ball through the gap, but it didn't work, man. He was literally through on as well. 1v1. Klaus versus Insigne. He cuts into the inside. That's great transition from Klaus as well. It's just we kind of get a little bit unlucky. Good slide tackle. EA doing what EA do best with the rebounds. But we do eventually come out with that ball. Go for this. He's in. He is insanely fast, isn't he, down that line? Like, well, look at this. Keep it going. Go for that fake shot here. Nah, Marquinhos reads us up like an absolute book. I would have liked him to have four-star skill moves because that's when I know I can actually go ahead and take players 1v1 in those kind of positions. That's a good pass into the middle. I'm going to push slightly towards him and we are going to put in a very good tackle. I started there a little bit thinking that he was going to go for like the extra pass down, but I just fully committed at the end. Step in front there, making sure he doesn't get that pass over to Insigne. Look at Klaus though, man. Look at that transition speed to push towards that player and then go ahead and cover that passing lane is incredible. I'm going to need to play him the ball there. Yeah, there you go. He made that movement as well, which is always going to be nice. I could have played that down the line, but I'm going to be honest. I didn't trust it. I thought he was 100% going to block that pass. Can I maybe run down the line here? I feel like it's going to be very unexpected. He does. Look, how, look how fast he is. Like I'm telling you guys, that pace is something I'm definitely noticing. Can I get that across as well? Kapoo. Go on, Kapoo. Go on. Oh, I don't know where saves it. I reckon he's going to try to go all the way to the top. He is. Klaus, I need you right here. Come on. Yeah, head of the ball back. Perfect. You, some fullbacks or just some defenders in general, they un ended up screwing that opportunity multiple times for me. Like, I know a lot of centre-backs that end up missing the ball completely. And all of a sudden, they're through on goal. So it's good to see he actually won it there. I'm just going to pass all the way up here. He's literally wide open. I might as well give it a go, right? And I'm going to go for the switcher play again. It's not a bad pass, but it's not the most accurate pass. That's the thing, right, with him. Those passes are definitely going to be possible with him, but he isn't going to be, like, consistent with it, let's say. He isn't going to be a player that can just pick up a ball and switch it all the way to the other side every single time, but he does well to get that ball. I reckon he's going to try to turn up, maybe get that ball over to Dakar, but we've read it like an absolute book that he was going to go back up. Can I see what I can do here? You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Like, he's literally not covering me, running forward. And Klaus is UC strength nicely. It's just that touch right at the end lets us down. He's going to want to turn again, isn't he? No. Oh, that's a decent tackle. It's not an amazing tackle, right? Because especially with how I was positioned, I was expecting more of like a possession base, let's say. But he does well to obviously get the ball. And I keep doing way too much with him. Give that straight to him. There you go. Go for a quick turn. You know what? We're going to go for it. I'm going to trust in his freestyle weak foot. And it's not going to be that great, man. He wants that ball to Neymar, doesn't he? He definitely wants that ball to Neymar. And Klaus does well to come over and put in a good tackle. Keep it calm and just play it simple. Nah, this guy's on me. Oh, this guy's got Klaus as well. Accelerate. There you go. Ball roll. Get in front of him. Shall we keep it going? You know what? Let's see if we can actually score a goal with him. Over top that. That's perfect. That's unreal football. Go on. No. Win the header. No, man. The volley wasn't even too bad either. Like, the animation was actually decent. It's just saying that Donnarumma was so close. I doubt he was going to get it round him. I'm going to get towards him here, making sure he doesn't get down that line. And the transition is perfect with the strength as well to be able to hold off any well played, Klaus. Should we go for the switch? Why not, I guess? That's a good pass. That is a very good pass. Please say it doesn't bounce over him. There you go. That is literally perfect. Full player, that's got, what, 75 long passing and 80 vision. You don't expect passes like that, do you? Can I play that across? That's a good pass. Klaus, you're going to make that movement going forward. You are. Wait for it. Go past him. Give it a go. Why not? 
It wasn't a bad shot. That is not a bad shot at all. It forces Donnarumma to make that save. That's actually a good pass. Klaus, see if he can get onto that. Well played, man. I do like how he's got good jumping. Like, that is really, really important to win those kind of 50-50s. If he hasn't got the greatest jumping, like someone like Sule, let's say, I reckon that ball may go over him. And next thing you know, Azebi was literally through on goal. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Klaus. We actually walked away with two goals. I don't know how we scored the two goals. Like, one of them being a penalty. Okay, I didn't even really aim it where it went, but it still went in, right? And the other one... Let's not talk about it. It was probably the worst goal I've ever scored in a player review. Three-star weak foot, red time, 74 finishing, and it still went posted in. I will take it. Now, the one thing that I can happily say stood out on this Klaus card was the pace. The pace is incredible. The way you can select him, rush out to a player, get into their personal space, and put in a solid tackle with his 96 standing tackling is simply, simply amazing. And he's not one of those players that, you know, when an overtop through will gets like done over him, he's not a player that's not going to be able to catch up to someone. No, he 100% will be able to catch up to players like Mbappe, let's say, players like Vinny, players like Dembele as well. Trust me, he's an extremely, extremely fast fullback with that anchor chem style the second best thing i would say about this card is definitely the defending i love the standing tackling love the slide tackling there wasn't obviously a lot of occasions he went for like a possession based tackle but there was a lot of occasions he did put in a solid solid tackle where we did eventually come out with the ball i know what you guys are probably looking at you're probably looking at the defensive awareness right and that's where i was looking at as well before this review i was looking at the defensive awareness like is it going to be a player they get to overtop through ball and he doesn't really track the run. Is he going to be a player that maybe is slightly out of position? And I can tell you guys right now, he isn't. I was really surprised with his 81 defensive awareness. He's a player that tracks run really, really well because of that pace, right? And then he is also a player that steps in front of others so he can go for that passing lane. It's something that I really did enjoy on the card, but something I definitely wasn't expecting. And the third best thing, I definitely would say he's physicals. He did use his strength quite often. When I was under pressure, I knew I could just hold L2 or LT, depending if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, use that strength to back into someone, take my time, and obviously go ahead and go for for a simple pass that 85 strength you definitely do see come into play now the card 85k you know what it's not amazing pricing i'm not gonna sit here and say it is it's not it's not outstanding pricing but it's good pricing especially for the best right back from france like you don't have any other option do you? you really don't and the fact that you can get that link with kempembe you can get that link with mbappe as well it's like, it's simply, simply amazing. So yeah, I definitely do believe he is worth the 85,000 coins he's currently going for. Now, would I take this Klaus card over a player like Hakimi? <sighs> it's a tough one to say, man. I, you know what? I'm going to say no. The reason I say no is because I know how good Hakimi is this year. I honestly do. And I know he doesn't play to what his stats actually says. Hakimi is just genuinely a glitch. So I am taking Hakimi over this Klaus card. Am I taking a Tau over this Klaus card? defensively i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest klaus is better i'll take him defensively but going forward because of the four star skill because of that five star weak foot on a towel i am obviously taking a towel but yeah klaus by far is the best right back from obviously france so the links are incredible and he is definitely worth the eighty-five thousand coins he's currently going for now where would klaus go in the defenders tier list He's definitely not an A tier. He's an A plus or he's an S tier. He's in between those two. But I'm going to be honest, I am going to put him into the A plus. I wish this card had four star skill moves. If this card had maybe like a four star skill moves or even like a four star weak foot, it would have been so much better. The four star weak foot allowing me to be consistent with the passing on that weaker foot. And obviously the skill moves allowing me to go forward with him and take players 1v1. That is something that I would have loved from this card. But yeah, he is definitely an A plus plus tier now i hope you guys obviously did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace